Man, I just can't seem to catch a break. So there's quite a few things that we need to talk about in this video. But first, we're going to talk about a couple of pictures that were just released on their Facebook and Instagram. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the Facebook one. It's a picture of a SWAT officer. I'm guessing he's like knocking on the door and checking to see what's going on. But the name of the picture itself is called Open Up. We're coming in. These character models look very nice. And to be honest, they should be because, you know, they use motion capture. They scanned in a bunch of people. I think they said they had like over 150, I think it was, people scanned in. But yeah, they look really good. I hope these are what we get to see in the actual game itself. Some people have said that she looks exactly like the girl from a previous photo that we've seen on the website. The wrong crowd photo. And yeah, I could kind of see it, but my only thing is um, all the earrings. Look at all the earrings that are on her ears. The hairstyle looks correct. The face uh, looks about the same. I mean, they could have removed the earrings, so I don't know. Maybe. Moving over to the Instagram, we have a brand new photo that kind of looks like a wallpaper. I would definitely print that and put that on my wall. This one actually doesn't have a name, as far as I can tell. But notice, it is of a unit that we have not seen since, well, a while, actually. It's an HRT officer, or hostage rescue team. I haven't seen a picture of this unit in a while. The last time I saw one, uh, he was holding a body next to a bunch of shipping crates back in uh, August of last year. That's the last time I saw a unit that looked exactly like that. So that's pretty cool. But what's interesting about both of these pictures is that soon in the tags is capitalized and at the very front and that's basically all that i have seen come out so far now let's talk about something that happened over on the twitter so over on twitter the insurgency crew decided to at void interactive they said india ps3 this is india ps2 come in do you read me over funny enough void responded with india ps2 this is India PS3. You're coming in loud and clear. Truck one on talk two. SWAT is en route. It's destination over. I was thinking to myself, wow, this is actually some pretty good marketing. But then the Insurgency Sandstorm crew tried to at Void Interactive again. Indy FPS 3, solid copy on truck 1, and SWAT, standing by, interrogative. Can you confirm Romeo Oscar November trailer element will be making entry? And they received no response. They left her hanging. God, I feel so bad for Insurgency Chan. She did not deserve that. So I found this to be very interesting, so I thought that I would investigate just a little further by clicking on the Insurgency Crew's account, and what I ended up finding out is that they had done this once before with World War 3. So I was thinking, was this actually a strategy done by Void Interactive? Because they left them hanging there with that last message, and a day before they were doing the same thing with the World War 3 devs. So I'm not entirely sure if this was actually a part of Void Interactive's marketing strategy, or if it was just between friendly developers talking to each other, I don't know. But it's very interesting, nonetheless. So with all of this came a couple of rumors, and I just want to address them really quick. The first one is from... Uh, a Reddit post, I think? But it says, this clearly says truck one on talk two. Searcher for talk date, I get this. Earnings announcement for talk, February 27th, 2019. Trans Alta Corporation is expected to report earnings on 02 27 2019 before market opens. So I can only assume that the trailer is dropping tomorrow or by tomorrow. I'm not sure I believe this one because if anybody doesn't know, Trans Alta is a electricity power generator and wholesale marketing company headquartered in in Calgary, Calgary? Alberta, Canada. It is a privately owned corporation and its shares are traded publicly. It operates over 70 power plants in Canada, the United States, and Australia. I think that this is total BS. I don't think that the trailer is going to be coming tomorrow. So I'm just going to toss that rumor off to the side. The next rumor comes from Big Fry. Those of you that don't know who he is, he is a YouTuber that generally covers a lot of news when it comes to gaming. But his tweet says, Rumor is, Ready or Not trailer is releasing on Thursday. They have been posting images all over the past 24 hours on Instagram as well. It's happening. Oh my god. Okay, it's happening. Listen, I don't know. Big Fry was saying that he had sources, and I'm just like, What sources are you talking about, good sir? Can I have a link to these sources? I'm not sure if what he's saying is correct, but yeah, that's, that's something. But yeah, that seems to be the majority of the rumors. So I, I don't know if any of those rumors are true. I highly doubt the first one is. So I just want to make sure that everybody takes everything with a grain of salt. And don't get your hopes up because you never know. It might just blow up in your face if you try to. Alright, well, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.